I do think it serves the common good. Uh, it helps us measure where society is on various issues. It enables us assess and monitor progress. Uh, and it enables us compare uh, nations, businesses, and individuals on a common basis. So yes, it does. You know, the, the mathematical assumption is that it's supposed to serve the common good. You know, the, the neo, neoclassical models, um, uh, what some would call the neoliberal approach would say, yes, as long as you let markets operate freely without government restrictions, that they will automatically um, funnel capital to the most productive places. But frankly, there are just so many examples in the real world of that not working. Presumably, if you're doing economics, it's about people and it needs to serve the, 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 the common good. I think the problem, though, is that um, economists have been very reluctant to really embrace the, this implication on that. What does it mean to do to do well? You have to define something around the good life in some broad sense. Doing well means how many people have to do well? Does 50% have to do well? Does 80% have to do well? Does 10% have to do well? I mean, in the last few decades, we've seen 1% or 0.1% or 0.01% do extraordinarily well. Does that mean the economy is doing well? Is it allowed to tell a joke? There was a villager parade on the red place in Moscow. And after many missiles, tanks, cannons, uh, a lot of military had passed. At the end of this long line, there were five men, insignificant, seemingly in, insignificant men in gray coats. And Brezhnev asked, what are these people here? And he said, oh, they are economists, uh, I tell you, they can do a lot of harm. The role of economics here, and one branch of it, which is finance, is to serve the society and the community and to pay attention to the new constraints that we're living. Environment, climate change, for example, it's a very key uh, aspect that uh, economics needs to look at very carefully to create and sustain common good to be shared by all of our all all of us uh, this need did not happen uh, and uh, on the contrary common good became in a way private groupings good uh, taking informational technological financial and other advantages to their own benefit and interest the past four or five decades or so in particular the role of economics as a discipline has taken, in my view, a rather disproportionate place in what were once considered wider philosophical and political debates about how to live a good and virtuous life and what we want our society to be, what values should be at the heart of our society. So I suppose I'm suggesting that economics should serve the common good of the people, but also the planet and not in some sort of abstract sense, but in a real and tangible way that would more fundamentally actually change how we live. What was the purpose of Adam Smith? His purpose was to demonstrate power, how power is being used to affect people in ways that were harming the ability of societies to uh, 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 create a better life for the people that lived within them, to create a better political life, to create a better material life. You know, so if we widen our, you know, our frame to go back to an Adam Smith, then we have there a true hero who presented himself as, a, as an economist, a political economist. It should serve the common good of understanding and distributing resources and making our societies more uh, equal, more uh, fair, where resources are distributed and not wasted. Clean air is a common good. And so economics and policies together should provide and should protect this common good. Uh, natural resources are common goods, but unfortunately they are uh, depleted and, or de can be depleted. I would argue that economics can still play a huge role, a positive role. Currently, I do not believe mainstream economics does. It seeks to justify a status quo and it seeks to perpetuate the power of capital over labor very, very broadly. Let's let's call a spade a spade, whereas there is a long and rich tradition of much more pluralist economics, which does provide us important insights that could benefit the common good.